Hello Angels, I'm Miss Quiet Queen, and you are now tuned in to The Quiet Queen Project. Well, this installment, um, as you can see by the title, is about time traveling. I wanted to make this video just a little bit different because I wanted to make sure that I did something aesthetically to grab your attention. People have are starting to talk about time traveling a lot these days but I don't want it to fall on deaf ears I think it's really important that we understand that this event is very much alive in our future world it is because of this time traveling that is why time traveling is one of the biggest secrets in our world one of the biggest. When this technology fell into the lap of those who were ran this world, they didn't want it out. They did not want the masses to know about this. They wanted to keep us in the dark for many different reasons. One of the many reasons is because they want to stay in power. They want to control everything. Um, all of the humans on this planet are considered slaves because the powers that be from a variety of countries came together and um, they, you know, went into a deal. So time traveling is very real. That's one of the reasons why they do it because they want power. Another reason is because they when I say they, I mean the powers that be, those that know versus those who don't. They don't want people to have their ability and to know how truly great we are. Um, I'll get into our greatness later because I do want to answer a question that someone or, or a statement that someone uh, made about why am I always, why am I starting to lean and talk about the salvation of black people? But I'm not going to get into that right now. <clears throat> I'm going to talk about time traveling because it, it affects all of us. I just, I put up a video recently about time traveling and I told you I was going to do it part two. I did a part two, but the part two was live and the live kept messing up. Now, sometimes when my channel mess up, we, myself and my subscribers, sometimes automatically think, oh, it's YouTube. All this the powers that be. Oh, it's this and that. They don't want you to sing. Sometimes it's the good guys. So when I was, when I quiet myself down after that happened, because I was answering a question by one of my subscribers named Luis, who asked a really good question about timeline, and I was explaining to him, um, my feelings about that particular question and then it stopped. I think sometimes the good guys tell us, no, no, no. That's not always the best thing to do. I was going to have us do our um, affirmations together. You know, my I, I am love's vibration. I was also going to have us do something to stop people from getting into our timeline. But Spirit told me, I don't have a right to do that. So, only reason why I'm bringing this up now because if you heard me say that, I wanted to stop you from doing that on your own too, or just suggest maybe you shouldn't do it. And the reason why they say that is because I recently found out that the Confederation and the Confederation I'm talking about are the um, those that are in charge from other galaxies. Okay, there is a protocol. There is like like the government or the police here that we have there is a there is a confederation that is higher than that and it doesn't matter what our local governments say or do what the confederation says or does trumps everything okay so um i was i was um allowed to have this information that i shouldn't tell people or i personally should not say to stay off my timeline because sometimes the confederation, the good guys, um, 
they are moving time around and doing certain things. It's like the lesser two equals. Our governments, plural, <clears throat> those that run this world, they have intervened into so many different timelines. They have caused a paradox. They have opened up Pandora's box years and years ago. They have really, really messed things up for a lot of people just so they can stay in power. They don't care about your feelings. It doesn't matter what your race is. These people who control our planet don't give a damn about your race. And even though they're, they're in the skin of a race that looks like many people here, they don't care. They don't care. Just straight up evil and invasive. And it's so annoying. But um, they, don't, they don't care about any of us, so they're going to go ahead and do their agenda. And I wish I would just speak on what I had to say so I won't forget. Um, one of the reasons why we do forget so much is because of the time being tampered with. Okay? Um, and sometimes, like I said, it, it has to happen. Um, because the information that they're holding on to, they won't share it. And another reason why um, they're, they're holding things and, and going into people's timeline is because they want you to um, become afraid. Because they're afraid. They're not kicking us off the planet. It's those dark forces that used an agenda. They're the ones that have to go. Now, the way I understand it, and I've heard this from several different directions. I, uh, I think <clears throat> I just recently heard it on an interview Corey Good did, but this is something that I've always learned from some guardians of our universe. These are energetic forces that you can't see, but you can damn sure feel them. They said that... There are several um, exit points once we finish ascending. Some people have already ascended. If you haven't noticed, they have already ascended. If there's a lot of vacancies. You notice know, you go to stores where it's normally crowded, it's not anymore. Even if you go online, it's... Well, anyway, um, I don't want to get off on a tangent, but... Um, some people have already ascended and we just don't remember them isn't that something we're sitting here now like hey everybody i know now is everybody that i know I, I i don't remember who i don't remember no because they erased your memory and it changed things sometimes this had to happen but several different exit points one is um for positive for positive people you have a group of negative people and a group of insure, unsure people. And then you have, um, what was another group that they told me? What was it? See, a positive. Those who know and are ready for the ascension, the ascension those who are ready to move on, um, will ascend into the new earth untainted earth it will be a beautiful world it won't be like it is now nobody's going to be shot down for no reason um people are going to be happy a lot of these people okay let me not say that okay so then you have the negative people they're going to go somewhere if they don't And then, let me see, then there's those that are unsure, like, are not ready to wake up. Like, what are you talking about? This is, this is, this doesn't exist. I don't believe that happens. I don't believe this happens. My husband is kind of on the fence of positive person and really being unsure. And there are different places where um, people will be allowed to dwell. In the new earth, the hereafter, the Nation of Islam used to always talk about the hereafter. What that means is what's going to be happening here 
after the ascension, but they didn't tell you the after part. They just said the hereafter, but that's what it is. Excuse me. I am drinking some blueberry juice. Y'all know I love blueberry juice. I always drink this. Uh, I got it from Jungle Gems. Sorry, my husband is calling. Would y'all please give me one moment? Let me see if I can pause this. Oh. Yes. Hey. Okay. I'm doing a video. Okay. All right. See. Okay. Sorry about that. So. Um. So. Positive people will be able to live in the hereafter, which is this place now, after all of this century, after all the BS, after our, our light workers work really hard to expel the dark forces from this area because they really believe that they have a right to this earth and do whatever they want. Have you noticed the powers that be always act like that? People act like that even now. If they see something they want, they just take it. And it's part of their culture. And some of them don't even realize you're the same way as these powers that be, as these as these evil 13 families and these evil people in these um, secret societies. Because when they see something, they just take it. And, and so do your offsprings and those who benefit from certain privileges. They see stuff, they take it like our culture. You just take stuff. And they so they go in your timeline, they jump around, and they just take things. Oh, we don't want these people right here to be successful. Let's take that. Oh, here is Miss Quiet Queen. Oh, she's doing this in the future. That's the reason. I'm putting all this stuff together. This is the reason why. Um, they're changing the timeline and the reason why I said um, I feel like we're 10 years behind at least I feel like I'm 10 years behind I'm having conversations in certain important meetings with certain members of my family having certain conversations with members of my family and I'm sitting there going I know I had this conversation with you but it's possible it's impossible you know so I know they're changing stuff, and some things they can't they they cloud they erase your memory or cloud it up to keep you in a haze. They turned up the grid as far as they can go. You know, these this is by the Draco. Um some some um facets of the Illuminati, I believe. They turn it up, messing with the grid to keep you docile so you won't wake up out of this haze but we're waking up and they're panicking and Donald Trump is our president for a reason he is our president because um, he is a distraction for what really is going on or what's really happening now I know every time I mention that man's name somebody always gives me a thumb down y'all are so protective protective over this person who has hurt so many people it's like y'all are excusing the things that he says and the things that he does and the broken promises that he's made like it's okay you know um, the, people have been trying to start a race war and they feel like since he is in office um, it's okay to get a pass but no Donald Trump is a time traveler so is his father this is the only way they was he was able to win the um, the president the presidential spot it's the only way I mean look who he was going up against Hillary really but anyway, I'm not for any of them. I don't think any of them have our best interests at heart. I think Barack and Michelle are doing more for our community now that they're out of the office because they were restricted when they were in the office. Still love them. They're my brother and sister. I love them. But anyway, let's get back and talk about more time traveling. When I was trying to make the video about time traveling and let you all know some things I will stop cut short but let me just say this 
if you are listening to this video right now, look, watching this video right now, um, send out some protective love to your future self on that timeline that they are trying to stop. The timeline where things really get raw for some people. Now look at this world we live in. We got to talk about race a little bit. I know some of my subscribers don't like to talk about race because you feel some kind of way. Maybe it's the guilt. You need to work through it. But we have to do talk about it because it's inevitable. Something is going on. Something is going down in our world. They don't want you to know. When time travelers come back to this time to talk to people, their relatives, they let them know, hey, we don't exist in the year 20 so-and-so. We don't exist is very little. Now, the reason being is because people are given a choice. You can stay here in the hereafter, but you have to conform to the goodness. Ain't no beating up nobody. Ain't no starting no race wars. Ain't no culture appropriating. Ain't no putting these people over these people and saying they're more beautiful and don't look at them and, you know, talk about this. There's none of that. Those that are in the cream of the crop now, those of you who get all of the attention now, it's not that anybody's jealous of you. We just think it's jacked up that you're always put up here and we're always put down here. That's going to stop. And some of you need to stop telling people there is no event to look for. The event was within. That's very hurtful to say to a lot of people. When I hear people say stupid things, I really, st I, I'm stuck. I just get stuck. Like when somebody, like a certain artist say, you got to save up to come to my concert. That really bothered, it bothers me to no end when I think about that. I just think some things are just so detrimental to say and so mean hearted and selfish and arrogant is like ugh, and that's one of those are two of them you know so I just um lost my thought <laughs> but anyway y'all time travel you are I want you to put love out in the universe to yourself because there are already time traveling police erected and I think they're working on our time. They're working on our blessings. Okay? It's not fair for them to go into your timeline and change your blessings. Nobody has the right to do that. Now, the Confederation had to go in and do and This is what I believe. I hope I, I, I understood the download. That they had to go in and rechange stuff, too, because some people would the way they were doing it they were eliminating people they want to try to go all the way back to your very first life or even when you were a child to change it but when you do certain things is what i'm told when you do certain things in your life you protect yourself one thing is always stay in a loving vibration i am love's vibration that is money in the bank that's your power. Remaining on the vibe, the love frequency. Because if you get angry like they get angry, what are you doing? What are you creating? More anger. You fight fire with fire, what are you creating? A bigger fire. Love is the water that drenches the fire, so to speak, metaphorically speaking. Okay, so they're trying to change your timeline. They're trying to go to certain people and change certain things. I think they even went to Minister Farrakhan's timeline and changed because he was strong. He was no nonsense. He didn't care like Dr. Khalid. He, oh, Dr. Khalid was very, very militant, and there was no break in him. But I think they broke Minister Farrakhan. Um, they did something. They got something on him. Because all of the stuff he would talk about, protect the black woman and do for self and love yourself. You see all these attacks in the street against black women as well? And you, you didn't call the Nation of Islam down to do anything? I'm just not, I mean, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I'm really not trying to be rude or any of that. I have questions. Why? People are getting their timelines jacked. 
they are doing certain things they are putting certain electrical liquid elect is 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 physical but non-physical they're pouring it directly into your or into your timeline some of us you know to um promote fear to get you to change your mind about certain things you know um so they do that to a lot of our powerful leaders because they know a lot of us go you know in our journey of trying to find our spiritual truth we go through a different through different churches through different um belief systems Sometimes we don't have a belief system at all. Sometimes we decide to be agnostic or atheist, you know. But they are they are if they're working on the timeline. So what I need you to understand is you're here right now. You hear me. You think of what you want in your timeline. Get you a book. Get you a notepad. Okay? And a pen. Several pens, because you should run out of ink. You're going to do a lot of writing. Don't put this on tape, on video. Write down everything that you want when you ascend. I am, this is what you do, I am ascending. The reality I am ascending to has, and then you write down what it has. In the reality I'm ascending to, I am, and you write down, are you tall? Did you lose weight? You know, write down what you want. If it's a business, say, I want to be in charge of this type of business, you know, in the hereafter. Blessings are coming. Blessings are coming. We just need to hold on. Hold on to faith and hold on to that little, you know, remember when you were a child and every everything was possible. You I think every child would say, I'm going to be a millionaire when I grow up. And you believed it with all your heart. But because of time jumpers, dream jumpers, jealous power people in power, they change that. They make life beat your ass. They beat you down. So they don't want you happy. Because your, happy, your happiness means their demise. Why is that? Good people love it when other people are happy. You don't even have to be my friend. You could be a, a member of the KKK. I still want you to be happy. Why? Because happiness brings about a vibration that helps the, the universe. It helps everybody. I don't give a damn how you feel about me. You could be the evilest person in the world and show happiness. That is good. It is an ingredient that turns on the love vibration. You need to remember that. So when we go into contemplation today and we talk about being love's vibration, you really need to understand what you're saying. Know what you're saying. And understand what you're saying. I am love's vibration. 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 Say this seven times a day. Monitor yourself saying this seven times a day for seven weeks. Block it out those seven weeks. Notice what your thoughts were. Notice the type of people that started to come around you. The type type of people that started talking to you now. Notice the um the conversations you have with your family members and your friends. Notice all these things and, and write them down. Because they don't like you to know to how to write. That's why they were are encouraging our children to speak in slang and to speak in abbreviations. Because writing is spelling. Spelling. When you write things, you're putting it, you're spelling it out into existence. Everything starts up here. Then you gotta put work in it, motion. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and shut this video down. 
I want to say I appreciate all of you for supporting me. Because you all have supported me, I have bought um, other things to help this channel grow and, and get better. It's, it's happening slowly because of other things going on, but I want to say thank you. I do have a Patreon. I do have a PayPal, which is where most people go and donate. Please go and donate if you want. If you like what you're hearing and you want my channel to grow and you want to see more editing type videos, thumbs up. Let me know if you want to see more editing type videos or do you all like when my videos are organic like this. No editing, no music, no fancy thumbnails, or is that something you like or would you like to see a combination? Let me know because I work for you. All right. Um, I, I also want to thank all of you who are my new subscribers. Unfortunately, I don't get notifications anymore. I used to get notifications when someone would comment on my comment or comment on my videos. I would get notification of who um, is my who, who, who just subscribed to my channel. YouTube does not give me that information anymore because my channel was one of the channels that they are trying to restrict because of the things I speak about. They don't really want a lot of people to know because they're still trying to fight this fight. This inevitable fight that they're going to lose, they're still trying to fight it. I stopped a long time ago trying to expect them to give me money. YouTube owes me a lot of money. Um, Scale Lab who was the middleman, took a lot of the money that was for my channel and would give me like $10 or $15 every month. <laughs> I used to get even a, a, a hundred or something and it, it kept going lower and lower. The more I kept speaking up on certain things that they really didn't like. Um, so they do owe me a lot, but I don't even think about it anymore. Um, I guess I do since I just brought it up. Huh? I mean, I think about it because I think it's unnecessary and it's unfair and it's it's a little hurtful, but it's not going to stop me. You can do whatever you want to try to stop me, um, but it, it won't work. I'm not going to be fearful. I'm not going to do any of that. So um, I just stopped caring a long time ago that they're not going to give me any money, but or pay me for this. However, something is coming down the pipeline. Now, I saw a uh, presidential candidate. What was his name? Chang? Daniel Chang? I don't remember his last name. He's it's Chang. Um, and I think he's a, I don't know, was he Chinese American? I don't remember which, but he was talking about a program that gives every adult in America $1,000 a month. I don't know how long, but that's a good idea. And I, that's a good, you talking a good game. He going to make me vote for him. You keep talking like that. But if you don't deliver, sir, there's going to be some repercussions. Folks ain't going to believe in you anymore. You're going to be trashed. I feel that that's coming to us anyway. This is going to happen in a lot of countries. I do feel like it's going to happen in Great Britain. I feel like it's going to happen in Australia. Um, I feel like down the road it will also happen in India where the government said, okay, here, take this money and it will help grow the economy. There is a way to grow the economy. There is a way right now to stop homelessness and end hunger in our country. But the powers that be don't want that because that contradicts their agenda. This is why they tamper with the timelines so much, so severely. And this is why they want so many people to dislike certain people. If you go anywhere in the country, black people are hated everywhere. Have y'all noticed that? Sure, there is hate towards other folks and other sects, you know groups of people but black people we get it hard everywhere I just found out recently that in Egypt, uh, Israel um, the police brutality 
is horrible towards the black Egyptians that migrated there, just like they are with people, black people in America. What's up with that? In Israel, weren't y'all the ones that saying, come on back, tribes of Judah, you know, you left black and came back white. What happened? Come on back and come back home. I'm not coming back home to that. Leave one um, fire to jump in another fire? I don't think so. The Galactic Federation understands that this needs to stop. This needs to stop. And for those who, you know, I'm not going to get into that. Sometimes <laughs> I get an understanding of things and I speak on it too soon. So I'm really trying to work on that. But if you have any questions or concerns about this topic, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Let me That lets me know if you like this kind of topic. Um, if I said something you didn't like, it wasn't my intention to hurt your feelings or to get anybody upset, but I'm not going to apologize for talking about President Jackass because that's what he is to me. I mean, that's my opinion. He's a mean person. He's not a good person. He's not. He's not a good, but he's who we got. And he is the president we need at the moment because fire is being lit under your feet. But if I did say anything, and, and I probably just did, I do apologize, but it, I'm going to be me. I'm going to speak my mind. This is my channel. I don't have a really, really large platform, but this platform is mine for me to choose to do whatever I choose to do. I'm not, I'm not, I've never, out of the, I don't know, seven, eight years that I've been doing YouTube videos, never received any kind of strike. So, anyway, get you some blueberry juice. Boost up your iron. Iron makes you strong on the other worlds. Did you know that? In the physical realm, drink iron. And when you travel astrally, you got strength. Y'all need to pay attention to these old, old cartoons. They have you, them subtle hints. Like you really got to dig to understand it. Popeye the sailor, what did he use to eat to get strength? Spinach. Spinach is high in what? All right. On that note, I love you like the play cousin. Stand here.